Hey, what's going on everyone? Don here and you're watching VR Gamer Dude and today we are taking a look at an interesting headset. Uh, it's not a VR or AR or XR headset, it's a cinema headset. So I want to thank Goovis for sending this over to the studio. I love watching movies. I, it is like, other than VR, that is my second pastime. So, you know, when they offered me the chance to take a look at the new Goovis G3 Max, I was like, absolutely. I've, I've heard good things about the screen quality of their previous generation. So I can't wait to dive in here and take a look and obviously take you guys with me as usual. Let's go. So let's go ahead and get the Goovis assembled here. So, you know, the weirdest part of this is, is you would think that this goes like this, but it doesn't. It actually, if you see the hinge point here, um, the hinge is actually going to slot right in here. So, all right, let's go ahead and remove the sticker here. Get that off. And there we go. Then we'll go ahead and slot this guy in there. So that is actually our front uh, pad. Uh, so when I was taking it out of the box, initially I thought that was the rear padding, but it is not. So it looks like that's gonna be really comfortable on the forehead there. So uh, the rear padding is gonna be this right here, the, this back strap. So basically we're just gonna take that and we're gonna loop it through here like so. And like that and boom, there you have it now. The Goobus G3 is fully assembled and ready to wear. So there are a couple of different ways that you can connect it. It's got two different USB-C ports. You've got one here and then you've got one here. So I guess that just depends on whether you want to run it across the top of your head or if you want it to dangle down to your side. So for the purposes of today, I am just going to go ahead and plug things in here to the side. Uh, you just literally slot the cable right in and you're ready to go. Now that's going to be our standard connection to say something something like our phone where we can just plug this in direct USB-C uh, you know if I want to plug it into my PC if I want to plug it into you know other things that have the all USB-C output that should work for you now for times that you don't like say you want to plug in something that has just an HDMI port uh, we've actually got the little video display adapter here so that's going to give you an HDMI output uh, I'm sorry an HDMI input with the USB 
USB-C output here and also the ability to power the device as well. And then our, our third method of connection and actually the coolest way to connect in my opinion is the, the, the portable media player power bank here. Um, and you know, I tell you what, it is fantastic. You can also use this connected to any other device that takes HDMI. So really cool. I've actually been using this out in the living room when not connected to the glasses as a 4K Android TV box as well. So basically th this is going to give us a really decent battery for the device as well for you know on the go use. Um, I've actually watched a couple of movies and played some games in it and I'm still you know only halfway down on the charge. So very cool there and I love of the fact that it's actually two parts. So you've got your battery bank here which can be used independently and then you've got your streaming media player here which you can see has the you know ability to plug in as well if you don't want to play it on the battery bank. So very cool there and then last is the fact that they've got the uh, micro SD card slot there so if you're going on a long flight or a long trip you, you load up a bunch of movies and things like that on there you don't have to worry about an internet connection you're golden you can watch what you want so other than that the interface as you see here really clean in the Android TV box I'm not going to go through everything here uh, it is literally your standard Android TV experience you've got media players you've got a Play Store so you can get games you can connect something like a, a, a Bluetooth controller to it I prefer the DualShock because it's got the little mouse pad here works great uh, so uh, they also give you the remote control which you can use to control the entire experience as well. Uh, image quality in this thing is fantastic. I, I mean, the 4K image quality, the HDR, it, it just all looks great great and uh, you know I watch a lot of movies and, and I've watched a lot of them in VR headsets over the years and I've never had this true of a cinema experience so Goovis you guys have knocked it out of the park with this device and I can't recommend the G3 Max enough so for anybody watching this if you are interested in picking one up not an affiliate with them or anything. I just, I really like the device and I do appreciate them sending it to me for review. I am going to throw a link for everything that you need in the description. Go grab one of these. You will not be disappointed. It is definitely great if you are just looking for something for 2D gaming and media watching. If you want VR, check out the rest of the stuff on my channel. Got a bunch of cool stuff coming up as well, so stay tuned. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Don, signing off.